Josh, this 13 year old now facing numerous charges tonight, the latest in a string of teen violence. But today, the state attorney and police chief issuing a stern warning that no matter your age, if you commit a crime with a gun, you will face consequences. First of all, your, your life is completely changed. Chief Lee Burkall warning juveniles do something dangerous or deadly with a firearm and face charges. You know, these types of charges are going to haunt you for the rest of your life. Police arresting a 13 year old boy for shooting a 15 year old. It happened last Thursday off Nebraska Avenue in North Tampa. The 15 year old survived, but both have prior criminal history. Their lives now changed forever. This is not the first foray into the juvenile justice system involving firearms for either of these two individuals. And so we have to take that juvenile's interests and balance it with our mission of public safety. TPD cracking down and increasing conversation with community members tonight holding another town hall in Tampa Palms to hear neighbors concerns. Last year, 86 juveniles were arrested on weapons charges. So far this year, 79 young people facing the same. In both years, four juveniles arrested for shooting another person. Lopez says the juvenile justice system offers diversion programs in many cases, but when it comes to guns, it changes the game. When someone steals something from a 7-Eleven or steals something from a store or even causes minor damage to property, a gun is a completely different ball game. Diversion programs aren't appropriate for that. Lopez also told me she's noticing that teens are getting access to guns and committing crimes in some cases with them at younger and younger ages. They are working with community partners to try to help these teenagers get on the right path before they do something that could change their life. Live at TPD headquarters in Tampa, Jack Royer, 8 on your side.